Good morning. So, oh, I just heard you. So, Ali's here. We are shooting a morning routine video for what is the brand's name? Um, Sense by Ella. Sense by Ella, and because Ali wants to be creative, and also for Black Girl Smoke. Killing three birds with one stone, and that's Shawty in the background. Hey, <laughs> she crazy, y'all. She crazy. Shawty. Hello, morning routine is done. I'm dressed for the day. Um, I'm wearing this La Casa USA little dress. Um, it is sustainable, one of my favorite just summer dresses. And then this headband is from Free People. Let me zoom in so y'all can like really see what the headband's giving. So yeah, this headband is from Free People. And then if we pan down to my sneakers, Boom. Boom. What are we wearing? Okay, we got Uniqlo. Okay. We got, oh my god, I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. Um, Stodd? We got. Oh, these just came. We just got double Stodd. Stodd and then Stodd came down. These just came out though. Just came out. together. This came together. Okay. Yes. Tell us what it is. So, free people scarf, free people glasses. Laka USA, is that how you say it? Oh, Laka yes. Lisa or Laka USA? I say Laka. Laka? Yeah. Um, Nuno bag. Oh, we love. And Nike. The details, the details. We're in a TikTok world. It's weird. I'm not. I'm a MySpace girl. Me too. I don't know anything girl. about it. My friends would be like, oh, so and so. You don't know her on TikTok? I'm like, I don't know anyone. On All TikTok. references are like, did you, do you know? And there's like, um, apparently there's like, hashtag channels where it's like oh do you know the seer there's like series so it's like there's one that's like a crime scene one they're like do you know the crime scene one i'm like what like what it's so it's yeah i i am very it feels like we're in a video game okay? <laughs> wow that's what you're doing that's what you're doing watch out get up the clothes I am in the process of cleaning my closet out and I'm working with a home organizer, Pia, who told me to touch each piece and see if it sparks joy, which is what I'm doing. I'm also trying on every single piece of clothing that I, that I own to make sure that I love it and that I actually have outfits for it. So this is, this is today's try on pile. Um, I'm going very slow. I'm just doing 10 things each try. Shawty, no, sit down. Good girl. High five. Oh, sit down. Paw. Good girl. So, we're gonna try these on and see how they work today. So, I don't know. 
I like this, but I don't love it. Like, the fit is not my favorite. Um, I don't know. I feel like if it was shorter, yeah, the length is really weird. Let's see. Okay, so if it were shorter, facts, I would love it. But I'm also not going to get this altered. I don't love it enough to get it altered. It's a no for me. I love this dress. I love the fit. I love the color. I don't necessarily love it with these boots or with this hat, so back to the drawing board. All right, I'm into this more, right? Let's see. And to be honest, I actually like this hat better. Big tip is in your free time try on outfits um, this way when you do have somewhere to go you'll already have outfits put together I learned this when I was a stylist and before we would send people on press tours or music tours any kind of tours we would always try on their looks and photograph them so that they knew what they were gonna wear you may not have anywhere to go but instead of like fumbling when it is time to go somewhere you already have some looks picked out so whenever I have extra time I kind of do this and also I'm cleaning out my closet, but it makes sense to do this so you're not fumbling and trying to figure out, oh my god, I have nothing to wear. You have stuff to wear. You have readily made outfits that you put together to wear. Quick shoe change. It's about to start storming outside and I didn't want to get my sneakers dirty, so I switched to Doc Martens. I think today really showed me that I probably should get some rain boots. So I'm going to dinner with an old friend, uh, Gracie Mercedes. She, we met because, we met when I lived in LA. I had been following her and her blog for a long time. Damn, we probably met in like 2011. I think I started following her blog in like 2010, 2011. And there weren't many bloggers back then. Instagram had just sort of started. There definitely weren't many women of color bloggers in the fashion scene. And I remember her, Nakia Phoenix, and Tay Hansberry would always be at Fashion Week. They were always fly. They were always like working on campaigns and doing dope shit. And I really started to sort of look up to them. Um, and throughout the years, Gracie and I have sort of developed a relationship, a sort of social media friendship, but like a mutual respect for each other as far as creatives and bloggers and influencers go. So it'll be dope to see her and catch up with her. I haven't seen her in years. <laughs> Um, today, this morning, P is coming over to organize and tidy. That's what all of this back here is. It's giving me anxiety. But it gets worse before it gets better. We gotta go through stuff, we gotta get rid of stuff. I'm just ready for my home to finally be organized. Everything in my kitchen I had to take out of the cabinets. Um, this is just a fucking mess. And yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, so Pia just left. We did some organizing, but whoo, chow. He still needs help. She was here for four hours. However, look at this cabinet. Yo, this is what I want my shit to always look like. This is, so, 
the dishes. I'm not into... I'm not really into this this shelf. I don't think she was either, but everything else looks really good, so. Hey, honey, how are you? You look so cute. in here. I feel like everybody needs to come here. guys it's Thursday and I am headed to Harlem I literally never go to Harlem but I figured I'd explore I'm trying to tuck this little piece of brain in this one is like a little fucked up anyway I want to explore Harlem and hang out with Monroe a little bit I never go up there so this should be fun I have on this scarf I forgot who the scarf is by but I will write it um, on the screen somewhere and then I have on this amazing dress from mango I don't normally shop at mango but this one is from their sustainable collection so I figured I would support that cause and then these shoes my friend Yolanda gave me my little mushroom purse how cute is this I got it from a vintage store or a thrift store actually it was like four dollars chicken and what is this beans and jollof yes okay i'm stalking the lady you know when you go out to eat and you're hungry and you just be stalking the server like where's my food is that my food she walking away i don't think that's my food y'all oh this looks amazing so this will be my first time having vegan african food look oh, good All right, guys, so I did end up ordering a few things from the Real Real. Well, just sneakers. Um, I needed some new shoes. These, um, they has, they are sustainable. And I feel like it's like a double sustainability because I did get them from the Real Real. And then I ordered a pair of Hirachis. Um, again, just like, I love the colorway of these. Ordered these Edies or Eddies. I'm not really sure how to say it, but they're just super chunky, like, they kind of remind me of lugs from back in the day, but these with like some jeans and just a wife beater, I feel like totally my vibe. Shawty, it's not for you. This sneaker is not for you. This not for you.
outfit is so dope. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. for the elevator? Right, right over here. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You can. I woke up in Southampton. I got shoddy with me. About to go grab some breakfast and then get ready for this event. All right guys, so I'm staying at a friend's house that doesn't have an iron or a steamer, which is totally fine. We're just gonna be a little ratchet with it. I need to iron this skirt. I'll grab a little hand towel and this is what my great grandmother used to do heat up a pot and then it on the top and then iron it alright guys so where the hell are we going the surf rider hotel in Montauk or is it the surf lodge let's get the hotel right yeah. 
All right, I'm out. The parking lot at the hotel is full. How to park over here at the train station. Yeah, I'm walking down the street like a fucking hitchhiker. It is what it is. How fucking cute is this? Yolanda, what are you wearing? I'm wearing something out of my Got it. <laughs> So I follow her on Instagram and she follows me and I actually bought these things something I bought this top from her last year and we're gonna buy something now i
first time having lychee. All right, Blake. My first time. Oh. Introducing my friends to new fruits. Absolutely. Yay, fruit. Nothing makes me happier. I'm looking forward to the super power. Fruit cheers. Oh. Cheers, all right. There's a seed in the middle. Okay. Yeah. headed to the movies with my girls I haven't been to the movies in probably like two years so this will be interesting I mean I'll be in that bitch with my mask on aside from when I'm eating because I'm still not vaccinated um, although the theater we're going to is really low-key like there's not even a lot of uh, seats in there and they specified that um, each table that you buy they will put a table between so that people are separated. So I don't feel as uneasy about it. Um, it is like a two and a half mile walk from my house. I definitely could have Ubered or taken the train. Not taking the train, haven't taken the train since the pandemic started. Um, but it's beautiful outside and I figured that I would just walk and enjoy Brooklyn. And normally I have my AirPods in blasting whatever it is I'm into at the moment. I don't know, for some reason today I'm not into that. I just kinda wanna enjoy the sounds of the neighborhood. You know, sometimes that's how I discover new music. Hmm, today feels like a good day to be aware of my surroundings. <laughs> 